All right, this is part of the interrogation room series, and in the last video, I modeled this sofa. And now I'm going to model some chairs, or a chair, anyhow. And I'll provide this reference, and you can download that if you uh, want to either follow along with the interrogation room or you just want to practice modeling a chair. All right, there's lots of different types of these chairs, so that gives us a little bit of artistic freedom if it doesn't look exactly like one, it could be the other. All right, so you just bring in the reference image by going Shift A, Image Reference, and bring it in. And I'm going to press S3, scale it three times. And we're going to sort of use different parts of this. So I'm going to press G to move uh, the image, and I'm going to place it roughly in the middle there to do this top part of the seat. And press 3 to look from the side, and I'm going to pull it back a ways. Press 1 to look from the front. And uh, what we'll do is we'll model this, and then we're going to turn it, and we're going to put it on here. Okay, so I'm going to press Shift A, Mesh Plane, go into Edit Mode, SX, and scale it up. And it looks pretty darn good. I'm going to rotate X90, and go into Wireframe, and just get it to sort of fit. Now, the front part is going to have a, a dip down, so I'm going to bring it to about, let's see, let me think for a second. I'm going to bring it up a little ways, and I'm going to look from the side. And I've got those two vertices selected. I'm still in wireframe. I'm going to press E and G. I'm going to pull it down. I'm going to pull it about sort of a 70 degree angle, not quite 90, something like that. And maybe it'll even a little bit more. And this part is a little bit trial and error. I press 2 to go into edge selection. I'll go back into solid view here. I'm going to select this. And what we want to do is we want to bevel this to make a curve. But we also want to be careful because we want to be able to round these parts out. So let's go ahead and do it. Control B and pull. Do something like this. And then roll your mouse up. Maybe that it probably should be good enough. Because what I want to do is press 1, go into vertex selection and select these. And I want to bevel them, but I just don't want to collide with those vertices. I want enough room to round it. So. I'm going to select those two and then go shift control b and pull i'm not using the reference at this point i'm just pulling and i'm watching and i'm thinking about using there's two vertices three four i'm thinking about using five i'm doing something like that now we'll see if this looks like it fits or not it's a little bit hard to tell so Select these two ones at the top there and shift control B as well. Again, I'm not really using the diagram. I'm just going to make it round because I don't care that much. I just want it to, to look nice. So I've got that. Okay. And if I look there, it's, it's not too, too bad. Maybe I could take the whole thing and select it and scale it down just a little bit. I'll do that. Okay. Now I'm going to rotate it so that it goes onto here. So I'm going to rotate... Let's see what I want to do. I'm going to rotate Z 90, and then I'm going to rotate Y 90 minus. And I'm going to take this and G, just pull it down and see, hey, it's close. It's close. It's not perfect, but it's close. All right, had I angled it down a little further, it may have fit a bit better. And there's not much I can do right now about that, so I'm just going to leave it like that. All right, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it down to about there. We'll give it some thickness. Maybe I can scale it a little bit. All right, we're going to give it some thickness. I'm going to press E and Alt S and push, and it comes out like that. And I'll pull it down. And so this is what we get. And again, it doesn't match the reference image perfectly, but... I think we're going to be okay with that. All right, edge selection now. Shift Alt and click. We're going to have to do this a few times to get all of the edges all the way around the top and the bottom. Okay, there we are. I'm going to bevel this by hand now. So just with Control B, Control B and pull. Roll back to zero, and I'm going to put one extra edge. So I got a total of three in there, something like that. Shade smooth, and to fix any shading errors, I'm going to come over here, weighted normal, and normal auto smooth. And so that is my 
seat. Okay, not too bad, not great, but we can live with that. Okay, so now, the different styles really uh, depend on mostly the bars. All right, and this bar is gonna come up from here, it comes down, goes around, it goes under, and it goes across. Okay, so it comes across like this in a joint. So down, around, and across. So uh, let's let's work on that. I think the way I'll do this is I'll select this, Shift S, three, bring my 3D cursor there. I'll just, I didn't have to do that, but. Okay, I'm gonna bring in a plane. I'm actually just gonna grab and move it up here, so. All right, uh, merge those points in the center. And look from the side. And I'm going to pull this out and we'll adjust the position. This is going to go sort of under the chair a little bit. So we'll start it. We'll start it at that position. I'm going to come up near the top. And I'm going to press E to extrude. I'm going to come down to about here. Maybe further down. So it goes under the chair. And then we extrude it there. I'm going to have to bring this down a little bit. All right, so that the bar is right there. And we're gonna come out towards the front of this, just to where it starts to curve under pretty much. All right, I'll look from the side, I'll go into wireframe, press E to extrude and come through. And we're gonna be mirroring this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on a mirror. And I'll turn on clipping. And we'll just bring that into the middle. We'll go back into solid view and we can see what we've got. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, there, we can see that better actually. Uh, let's see, I won't apply the mirror yet. We'll do the, the curves. Um, yeah, this is gonna stick out, let's see. Mm. I may bring this in a little bit. So let's let's have a look at this. Well, no, we'll bevel it first. Okay, so grab that point, shift control B, pull, and I'm gonna go for five, just like that. And we also have to bevel this one, and I'm just gonna do this one by I, shift control B, pull. And I think I'm going to need to take these points and this one move them forward a bit so I may be off the diagram by doing that but we'll see so that's what I've got all right solid view object okay I'm going to apply the mirror and select this and convert this to a curve I'm gonna come over here and under geometry under bevel let's try 0 0.65 no 0 0.065 Yeah, I might like that. Now. Yeah, okay. I'm going to start with that. I can go ahead and shade smooth if I want to do that. This may be a little bit too close to the front now that I think about it. So I'll go into edit mode and wireframe. And I can grab all of that and just pull it back a little. Now it actually matches the diagram and I think it's a little bit better. Okay, now we're gonna do this piece here. And the way I'll do that is I'm going to bring in a plane. I'm gonna rotate X90, slide it out outside of the chair, and just grab it here. I'm gonna look in wireframe I'm just gonna press S to scale and move it up. And I'm just gonna match this part here, this this upper part here, so I can just keep scaling it to about there. Maybe a little, a little smaller. Okay, I'm gonna take these two points, I'm gonna bring it down, press S to scale. Now, sometimes these legs come out in the front, but are to go up further in the back, so it's up to you how you want to do that. I might just SX, just do that. Okay. On the other hand, maybe I will pull this one out a bit more. Okay, I'm gonna take this edge and get rid of that edge. So I've got just that right there. 
okay number one for vertex selection select those look from the side and shift control B to bevel pull and I've got five in there again I may decide to grab all of these and pull them out a little bit and I can still even take this one and pull it under just a little bit okay so I've got that I'll start with that we'll take that piece there and we will convert that to a curve and I'll use the same 0 0.065 for now anyhow shade smooth not bad okay so we're gonna have that and that's gonna get mirrored to the other side so I think my 3d cursor is in the right place to mirror this let's try that okay that looks all right and I mean you could stop there no one's gonna really see underneath it but there is a connection bar to connect these and this so maybe I'll do that though um, and what I would do is I would come in here and let's see I applied the mirror on this right okay I'm coming here I'm actually gonna delete that vertex I'm gonna select those two shift D to duplicate pull that down and P to break it out and I'm gonna change this the diameter of this one the depth or whatever let's try 0 0.045 and uh, let's scale this in the in the Y until it starts to push into those things there. So let's make sure that's in the right position. All right, let's scale that in the Y and just keep coming out. And then what I'll do is I'm going to pull it back and up so that a bolt could go through into this one and it could go into those ones. So. I'll look from the front in wireframe and just press G and I'll just I'll just move it by hand and see or by eye. Now again, no one's gonna look under there, so that's probably okay. Just if you happen to see on some angle, I don't know that you would. But I'm gonna take that now and shift D and pull it back and it does the same thing back there. Like that. Okay, so I just I'm not sure about this. Um, I'm debating about coming in here and lengthening this a little bit. I'm just debating about that. Just a little bit like that. Well, I've done it now, so. All right, so the next piece I'm going to do is this one here, and I'm just going to bring in a plane. I'm gonna rotate X 90, and G, I'm just gonna move it up here. We'll model against this thing. Go into wireframe, and I'll scale it until I get that. I'm gonna pull these up. I'm gonna scale it in the X, and just position this, and scale in the axe a little bit more and what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to make the bottom a little bit narrower by scaling it in like that so I'll have that piece there and then I'm going to before I bevel these because I want to curve that piece here I'm going to put some edge loops in here so I'm going to call control R and I'm going to roll up I think five times will be enough so five extra edges in there and then I'll select by holding down shift those vertices and then shift control B and pull with my five vertices in there and I'll get that and that's okay like that all right now I'm going to select these vertices in the middle and I want to bend it back so I'm going to switch to proportional editing and I'm just going to start pushing and I can roll my mouse up to change the size I want it to be relatively smooth so pretty big uh, a big curve and I may put a subdivision on this as well after so um, I, I'm going to start with that and of course I can smooth it and um, I think that's probably enough so I'm going to take this now and I'm going to I'm going to E and Alt S 
and uh, I think I'll turn that off. Alt S, and I'm gonna push or pull. I think I'll pull and give it some thickness. And I'm thinking sort of around the thickness of of this, but it doesn't have to be exact. So, so I've got that. Okay, and now I'm going to Shift Alt and click the edges. I'm gonna bevel them, just like I did with the seat. So I'm gonna select all the edges around the front and around the back. Alright, zoom in, control B and pull, but I don't want five, I want a total of three, like that. And then I'll do my shading thing with weighted normal and normal's auto smooth. So there's that piece. Now I've got to do is position it here. So I'll go into edit mode and I'm gonna rotate Z90. I'm gonna pull it forward. I'm gonna look from the side and just position it and I'm sort of looking at my 3d cursor and that I mean you could position it exactly if you needed to but I'm not too worried about that I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this and push it back so that the bars would just about make contact with that I see it starting to there and I think that's probably pretty good I mean no one's gonna measure this the only thing I want is I want these bars to go up pretty high near the top. All right, so I might push it down a little bit and then pull it out a little bit. I'll be doing something with the, the tops of those anyhow. So somewhere around there, you just decide what you think looks, looks right. Put on the cavity shader. All right, let's work on, I think if we're happy with, with the bars, let's let's deal with them now so there's no mirror just come to the curve I'm gonna convert them to a mesh but I don't want that resolution of 12 I'm gonna switch this to 4 and then I'm gonna go ahead and convert to mesh so those are done they're a mesh now uh, I mean I could probably come in here and delete now nah, delete. take that all back all right I'm gonna come up to the top here in two for edge selection and put a face on there and put a face on there and press three for face selection and let's select both of them and then I'm simply going to control B pull and maybe I'll have one more segment so I think I had a total of what did I put in there four that'll just cap those off like that now normally there'd be like a bolt that could go through there so there's sort of an indentation hole I'm not going to do that I'm just going to put the bolts on this side um, yeah Okay, so we're gonna do that. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to these feet. And let's see, I'm gonna apply the mirror. And I didn't apply the mirror. Oh, yeah, they're curved. So I've got to uh, convert them to a mesh. So switch this to four. Don't forget that or it'll be very dense. And convert to mesh. The mirror is already applied. So now I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to select these edges here on all of the legs so there's the two front ones and the two back ones okay so I want that I'm gonna press F to make a face all right good I'm gonna press E to extrude and alt S and I'm gonna come down a little ways like that and let's see now I'm gonna press control plus and I have that I'm gonna press E and alt s and scale them out a little ways and then I'm going to bevel by hand I'm just gonna take those two and these two those two and these guys over here I'll just look at that one control B and pull and I just want my three segments and I will have that and I've got my legs and I will put on this um, weighted normal and normals auto smooth as well and then I think we have to do these ones as well so let's switch that to four and let's switch this one to four so we don't forget and let's convert to mesh and this one convert to mesh and um, I'm probably going to just 
texture these in, in Blender. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think what I'll do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to join all those. Uh, so I've got all that stuff there joined together. Um, however, we'll do some different stuff with materials. And then the last thing is up here, I think I'll select that face and I'll look from the side. So my 3D cursor is close to where I want it to be. I'm gonna bring in a circle and I'm going to choose just 12 vertices. Go into edit mode and scale it down. I'll switch over to wireframe and I'll scale it. I'm going to rotate Y90 and I'll scale it some more and just by, by eye and by hand, I'm just gonna do that. I have to make a face, I'll pull it out. Let's focus on that. Let's extrude it back but we'll get rid of that back face and we'll go to solid view select that face and control b and pull and just have a few segments in there that's fine uh we will shade smooth but before we go on let's just double check that nothing's flipped and as you can see that's flipped so recalculate outside and this one recalculate outside and everybody else is good okay all right so we're good to go and I've got that, and I'm going to start positioning this thing here. And let's look from here and wireframe so it's over the bar, which makes sense now. And then I'm just going to, I'm just going to rotate this in the Y, and I'm going to rotate in the Z, and then just push it in, rotate in the Z a little bit more, just to get it roughly in line that looks, I guess okay just double check that it's over the bar yeah okay I'm gonna take this and shift D to duplicate it I'm gonna pull it up a ways like that but we'll probably have to adjust the rotation again I'm gonna position and I'm gonna push it in and then again check that it's yeah, okay, good. All right, that's okay. So let's now uh, use this Shift S cursor to select it and take these. Uh, I'm going to join them, Control J, and set the origin to the 3D cursor and then mirror these across. And I just want to check that these ones look like they're yeah, not quite in the right position. Uh, yeah, so, uh, let me just think, one, two, three, four, five, uh, okay, maybe I'll, uh, yeah, okay, I'm going to go ahead and apply the mirror, and I'll go in, and I'm going to select this one, I should select both of them, I'm going to slide them over a little bit, and then we'll just check the, the angle, and see how they look. They look fine to me. Okay. Good. And I'm going to take these and I'm going to join them with the bars. So I've got this and this as a piece of metal. I think I could probably just join those. Okay. So, um, I don't need that anymore. And I'm going to take the chair and bring it up to there and shift C the 3d cursor is there so there's my chair and now it's time to put some materials on this so let's do to start off let's go to the materials tab click new and I'm gonna call this chair metal and just for the moment I'm going to do this and okay timeout 